Come with me to check for eggs. What are we gonna find today? This one is gonna stick for me. Look at this. So this is a well summer egg. You can see all the little speckles. It's our darkest egg that we get. And it's probably more like a medium sized egg that you would get at the store. These are ceramic eggs. Then we have a silky egg. This is Creed. Creed lays little tiny eggs. And we have two gorgeous eggs here. This one is one of our olive eggers is a different color, brown egg, and then this is Angela. She lays blue eggs, and it's probably hard to see in the sun. They're a really pretty shade of blue. All right, let's check the other side. We have another silky egg here. And this is Phyllis. So I only have two silkies left. In person, they're a little pinkish but they look almost white in the camera. And then I have a nice clutch of eggs here, which these are mostly our olive eggers and one other Easter egg that I have. These are today's eggs. It's a really, really pretty day for eggs. Thank you for coming with me to collect eggs. That was a lot of fun, and we had so many more eggs than we typically do. So we keep our eggs on our counter at room temperature, and because of that, we don't wash them until we're getting ready to use them. So all eggs have a protective layer around it called the cuticle, and the cuticle protects the egg from bacteria getting in and also allows oxygen to circulate around the egg. Um, but if you wash them, then you're washing away that protective layer and then you have to put them in the fridge. So commercial eggs that you get at the store have that protective layer washed off and so that's why you refrigerate those. Now I have Easter eggers, which both of these actually come from the same hen, but you can see some of it, one of her eggs has speckles and the next day it's just a smooth egg. And I also have olive eggers. And all olive eggers are actually Easter eggers, but not all Easter eggers are olive eggers. And the other thing about Easter eggers specifically is that they don't all carry the blue gene or the green gene. So sometimes you wind up with what I have, which are hens that don't have that gene. And so you'll get these really pretty mauve colored eggs or these gorgeous light brown colored eggs. So if you're looking to add to your rainbow basket for eggs, it's not always a given that you're gonna get the color that you're thinking. That's it for my eggs. So my fun fact about our farm fresh eggs is through an observation, number one, is the shells seem to be a lot thicker or harder than store-bought eggs and I contribute that to their diet. So they're eating their feed, which is high protein, but then they're also being uh, foraging for insects and seeds that are all around. And then they get the occasional grub and sunflowers here and there, but um, it's pretty cool. It's a lot thicker. And when I cook and crack the eggs, I've experimented with the suggestion of cracking the egg on a flat surface instead of like the edge of the bowl. Or what I used to do is take a butter knife and crack that way with the butter knife. Um, when I crack it on the flat surface, it seems to be a cleaner break. I don't get any eggshells in the yolk and the egg whites as opposed to trying to crack it on the edge. Yeah, I usually have to bang it several times on the edge and then you get the little fine pieces of eggshell. But let us know your fun fact about your farm fresh eggs. Drop it in the comments. Thank you for coming along and collecting eggs with us. And remember, you are awesome and you are loved. Until next time, if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe.